All right, guys, this is Big Cheek Chill Accent Man back with you. It's been a, been a little while since my last video, and I just wanted to show you what I've been doing. So, this is my system I've already shown you before my 21, 21 plate cell right there. I've got my water reservoir right in the center there, and this used to be my vaporizer. I'm, I think about make it into a secondary bubbler, and from that bubbler, I'm gonna have it go down in here to the New vaporizer I got. I like the look of it a lot. And um, so I'm gonna kind of just walk you through it. So I put the water and the electrolyzer mix in here. For my electrolyzer, I'm using KOH, which is what I got right here off of eBay. Most of the stuff that I got and using my system, I've bought off eBay. Um, right here, so it's KOH, it's potassium hydroxide caustic, blah 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 blah. Alright, so I put that, uh, like, uh, I, I really haven't, um, measured how many teaspoons I put with the water, and I'll be, um, writing that stuff down later. So, put that in there. It goes from here, down the bottom, out of this tube right here, into my little pump right here. You can buy these kinds of pumps for computers, the water-cooled kind of computers. Uh, I like it a lot. It's got about a 50,000 50, hour lifespan on that pump. So it pumps the water down from here, puts it in the bottom of the cell. And so negative and positive on each end. We got uh, three negative and three positive plates. So from there, I have this this is a 3 8 inch cord. Have it going up here, and I've got a half inch or a half. I, I I don't know exactly, but it's it's a half barb going out from the top, so it has more room for the gas and the water to come out. And I have that half inch hose go all the way around to this bad boy here. Now I used to have a clear one of these, a clear filter that looked a little bit like this one, but it's a bit bigger. The pressure was too much in the heat and caused it to crack. So I got this one right here. It's meant to hold lots and lots of pressure. And 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which I don't plan on getting anywhere close to that. So I have the half going into there and then coming back out. Going around and about here, back into my system. The water drops back down into there and the gas comes up. And over in here, into my secondary bubbler, and then from there goes into my new vaporizer. And right here is a new cell that I bought off eBay. I very much like the design of it. A very good hand, uh, handcraft, whatever. Oh, and so I will show you my car. So this is the Geo Metro, the 1990 Geo Metro. This is the new alternator I have put in there. I had to replace the belt that goes to it because the old belt was just not long enough to wrap around and fit into the, the, the bracket that we have there. So, got a new belt. It was, um, I'll probably tell you later what the size of the belt was if I, unless I can find the, the card. I do not see the card. But anyways. So we got the new belt there, I put some extra wires in there. The wires going over to my new battery that I got on the car. It's got two different terminals, one that's going to the regular car, normal terminals, and then these are for the extra one for the alternator. And also I'm gonna be using these posts for using um, either to a secondary battery or if I have them going from there to my cell, which I'm gonna have in the very back hatch of my car. Alright, so, that was just an update, I've done all this in the last two days, it's been a couple months of just, you know, being lazy, but I'm at it again, and hope to get this thing running on water by the weekend, so, I'll hit you up with another video after I'm done with that, alright, later, HHO Accident Man, signing out.